Hello, Fruit Forest. This is Captain Fruit reporting for duty, and today I want to talk about a combination of things. Mainly, it's the subject of Florida Man. Uh, Bounty Hunt Comics just released an article that says comic book subreddit bans Mike Barron's Florida Man from Indiegogo. And you can get this article right there from Bounty Hunt Comics by John F. Trent. And this really, you know, it, it shows a lot here. I think this article is really telling. It says the comic book subreddit that has over 1.2 million subscribers banned the promotion of Mike Barron and Todd Mulroy. Mulrooney, sorry, buddy. Florida Man Indiegogo. And I just want to say, I have no connection to these people. Or especially, they have not asked me to talk about this. I haven't received a free issue to review or anything of Florida Man. Um, I, I just find this interesting. I found this book to be interesting. And I read this. It doesn't surprise me. Florida Man editor and editor-in-chief of Bleeding Cools, Chris Braley, posted a link to the Indiegogo on the comic book subreddit and subsequently received an indication that the post had been removed by moderators. Now, this is nothing new. This is part of the reason, really, originally this whole comic gate, comic skate thing came to be, whether you call it or like what it's become now. That's a whole other story. But what happened in the past was uh, people go on Marvel boards, Comic Vine, all kinds of other ones, and if you said anything like, I didn't like this book, I thought the character was written out of character, I don't like how the artist is handling this character, whatever it may be, you would not you would not be surprised to be blocked, have your post removed, be permanently removed, and then turn around and slander. But then they'd turn around and say you were saying bad stuff to the artist or writer and you weren't, but they would make up stories that you were. And meanwhile, be slandering you and lying to you like crazy. I've seen it myself. It's happened to me. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, also maybe check out Douglas Ernst's blog. Talk to him about it as well. You'll get a really good picture of what happened. So what happened is these people were constantly getting removed from these sites because maybe they said, hey, I don't like how this character is being written. It just it doesn't match the character. Why would they have done that? It doesn't make sense. Or this was out of continuity's place. And that would rub these moderators the wrong way because they're nothing more than shills usually for the big two or even or some smaller companies. And the reason is, is because those getting those writers and those artists there generates them clicks. I've actually done research into this and talked to some of the owners of some of these companies and have pretty much gotten that right from their marketing when I uh, had issues with them discussing that. Is, well, these people generate clicks, so we allow them a lot of leeway, but you are not allowed to defend them. But they were allowed to t call you all kinds of names and everything, and, and I mean darn right mean stuff, but you couldn't even say something like, I didn't like a book. That is a fact. Anyway, go on that, and we're going to see a little bit more about that here, too, why he, he was removed by the moderators. The reason for the removal read, moderators remove posts from feeds for a variety of reasons, including keeping communities safe, civil, and true to their purpose. And that's perfectly fine. We don't need people belittling, berating, and, you know, using all kinds of vile things to call people. No problem. But Braley would also receive a personal ban for daring to even post the Florida Man comic book, Indiegogo, in the comic book subreddit. The cited... They cited their reason for being banned as Comicsgate support. There is no, you know, as much as people like to generalize, there, Comicsgate was a group of people, a large group of people with different views, different ideological opinions, sick of getting squandered and, and having their views uh, pushed down and hidden and erased. And they started saying that, hey, they could do... Uh, write, do publications and write things on their own to get it out there, whether it be blogs or then they discovered YouTube and it really started to blow up. Then they started realizing we've got a voice and a lot of us have similarities. We might not all agree in politics for a lot of reasons. I, for example, there's some people in Comicsgate are adjacent, whatever you call it, what I call it. I'm not trying to, this is not a pro Comicsgate or anti Comicsgate uh, rant here, just for the record, but people from all over around that, that we have things that we agree on. You know, and sometimes it's, hey, Spider-Man should not have had the marriage erased. That was just ridiculous. It was more harmful than the character to the character than good. Boom. That was enough, by the way, to get you removed from like CBR. OK, so anyway, Bradley would also receive a personal ban for daring to post that to in, that Indiegogo average, you know, thing up there on Reddit. So when asked why he was banned, the moderator responded in writing to him saying Comicsgate support is not tolerated on this subreddit such as pro comics, Comicsgate websites like Bleeding Cool and Comicsgate-led crowdfunding campaigns like those from Chris Brady. So in other words, you're not allowed to have a difference of opinion is really what it is. So remember that. It's about being civil, right? The comic book separate rule number one, be civil, ban support for Comicsgate. It reads, this is very important, 
Okay, racial, sexual, homophobic, or cultural slurs will result in a permanent ban. Sure, that makes perfect sense. Do not disparage the differently abled or threaten or incite harm against other users, creators, or industry professionals. Wasn't happening there. Putting that up did not do any of those things. And then specifically mentions Comicsgate, describing the popular movement already as a hate group. Any form of bigotry or support of hate groups, such as Comicsgate, is not permitted. There is no true definition of Comicsgate. It doesn't exist. It's a group of people. You cannot put everybody in one group and say one word to define them. It doesn't really apply that way. There's people in this movement of all. Men, women, young, old, straight, gay, it, all kinds. <laughs> That's not how it works. So while debating and differing views are encouraged, here it, remember that, while debate and differing views are encouraged, please keep all discussion on topic and do not resort to personal tax. As a general rule, don't be a jerk. So in other words, Reddit broke their own rule. They don't allow people to debate. They don't want different views. They're not encouraged. Your view has to align with theirs. In a topic of comic books, in a comic book uh, forum, posting something about a comic book is definitely on topic. That's not attacking anybody. It says, hey, here it is. Check it out. That is absolutely ridiculous that Reddit did that. The rule continues. Individuals, which I know this might be a typo of some sort, of every demographic are important and deserve representation. They should have said individuals of every demographic are important and deserve representation, except for people that disagree with us. That's the truth of it, because that's how they really feel. Once again, why people are looking for other out, uh, outlets constantly to be able to share their views, both in media and creators behind media, which, once again, this is baloney, deliberately propagating forms of erasure, belittling the wants and needs of other individuals, and similar complaints about forced diversity have no place in this community. Now, here's where we have a lot more problems here. Once again, propagating forms of erasure. Um, they're deplatforming. Uh, that they removed that that post about that comic book. That's erasing right there. <laughs> they broke their own rule. Uh, belittling the wants and needs of other individuals didn't exist in that post at all. And similar complaints, now here about forced diversity, which wasn't in there, but let's talk about that a minute. Forced diversity have no place in this community. Complaints about it. You could not tell me that there's not been any comic books, movies, television shows, or anything that did not have a forced, forced diversity agenda. I'm not saying diversity is bad in any way. Diversity is great. The forced diversity is a problem, though. When we write a character and say, look, we have to cast somebody like this because it fits the character with a certain look, sure, whatever. But then when you turn around and say, hey, they introduced something with this way just to force a, something that doesn't make any sense to the story or change the color of a character, it doesn't make any sense in the story. For example, I like Luke Cage. I think he's awesome. I think a black guy should play Luke Cage. I'm sorry. You know, shoot me for that because I think they're going to match. I want the character to match as much to the page as they can. So, for example, they're perfectly fine with Batwoman, right? Well, okay, Batwoman was a lesbian. That's fine. Do you have to hire a lesbian, though, to play a lesbian character? That wouldn't make any sense. It's like saying you can only hire hetero people to play hetero characters. No. Gay actors can play straight characters all the time. Um, How I Met Your Mother, the guy who played Barney, was absolutely phenomenal in that role as a womanizer, and he was gay. No problem with that. So to say, though, they have to be a lesbian or whatever, that's forced. So what they support is complete malarkey. It concludes posts with comment patterns meeting certain negative criteria, such as excessive amounts of rule-breaking comments may be locked at the moderator's discretion. In other words, this person did one post saying, hey, check out this book, and completely banned. No warnings, no nothing. That is completely baloney. They're breaking their own rules. So the comic book subreddit also appears to have an approved source of websites for comic book news as well. Notice that. Bleeding Cool is an approved source. <laughs> uh, AIPT. Hmm. Comic book resources. Comics B. IGN. News Rama. You notice this. All these are completely left-leaning sources, by the way. Absolutely left-leaning and some far-leaning left sources and known to be malarkey and garbage. All these are also ones that band together to help, once again, kissing rear of certain uh, industry professionals and things because they want to keep getting that inside scoop and things to get those clicks, showing once again how much of a bullcrap website they really are. Chris Bailey issued a statement to Bounding in a Comic, Bounding in Comics, in response to the comic book subreddit banning the promotion of Florida Man. It begins, I think the most annoying part of this is that creators like Mike Barron 
and Todd Mulroney just want to create comics and get them out there. And I recommend checking out Mark Barron's catalog, see what he's done, such as Punisher and some work on The Flash. It's a shame that anonymous moderator with an ideological axe to grind can deplatform a user just because they disagree with something that was written somewhere else online. And that's what we continuously see about this. They keep talking about inclusiveness. No, they don't want inclusiveness. They want people that agree with them. If you don't agree with them on every fact, boom, they have you gone. The statement continues, the trend of deplatforming is only one component of a broader crisis of free speech happening online throughout America. And that's absolutely true. They even put a link here about Gail Simone. Gail Simone, <laughs> she's after Mike Barron too for just a little tweet <clears throat> that was nothing. Wow. I mean, it was absolutely ridiculous what she went after him about. It was just pretty much for agreeing with somebody uh, about about something nothing that harmful but ever since then she's had an axe to grind with them because uh, winger here put you know who should be writing comics fat bitter cat ladies is a joke mike Barron said they are <laughs> and he's, he was right absolutely right and so i pissed off gail simone because well the truth hurts right <laughs> and ever since then she's had an axe to grind with him uh she probably needs a candy bar to shut her up because then she, you know, give her Snickers, she'll cheer up a lot. So he continued, at Bleeding Fool, our comment sections are open. We don't ban people unless they're being repeatedly abusive. Notice that, repeatedly, and I hope that holds true. We have dozens of contributors who post their own opinions, some of them contrary to one another's, and that's something you want. Contrary opinion. It's a pity a site like Reddit isn't more inclusive of all perspectives so that dialogue and reason could prevail. But I was warned the moderators at Reddit are terrible, which they are, so I suppose they could have ex should have expected this. Florida Man tells a story about Gary Dublin's bad day. Matter of fact, let's play that uh, the video about what this book has to offer, shall we? All right, Fruit Force, I went to the Indiegogo page for Florida Man's graphic novel. And here it is, Florida Man graphic novel, volume one. Florida Man, a hilarious tales of larger-than-life figure of the magical land of Florida, USA. And we see here, it's, at this point, it still has 42 days left. And so I say check this out for yourself. I'm going to play this video here, and I want you to watch that. And I'd love to know in the comments what you think. You've seen the stories. Now, writer Mike Barron and artist Todd Mulrooney are bringing the quintessential Florida man, Gary Duba, to life. Gary's just a regular guy living in a trailer with his girlfriend, Crystal, but he's got dreams, big dreams. He just invented house suspenders that will secure any home to the ground in rough weather. And now he's going to show them off on Piranha Pool, the TV show where venture capitalists and entrepreneurs pony up if they like your pitch. But when his gal Crystal gains notoriety as an infamous amateur wrestler, she quickly advances to the pro circuit where her greatest challenge is an angry Australian grappler. Follow Gary and Crystal on their extraordinary journey from rags to riches, to rags to riches, to rags to riches. All while dealing with shady lawyers, toilet snakes, wild gators, cheating hearts, feral hogs, and problem shoppers. Back Florida Man today and reserve your very own copy of the Florida Man graphic novel. We're bringing back funny books, y'all. All right. So there, there you have it. <clears throat> Clear my throat there. We have Florida Man. There's the video. I, I think that advertisement was really well done. Uh, you can get your copy for $25. Uh, 59's already been claimed at this point, but let's look a little down farther here. Da -da -da, there we are. So, Gary Duba, it's done a good job, I think, explaining it. So, let's just look at the artwork a little bit. And I think it looks definitely serviceable. Okay, I don't. we don't have the word balloons here yet to see how that's going to be portrayed, but I think it gets the point across. Okay. So, I have no problem with the artwork. I think it's looking pretty good. <laughs> From Blaze Wrestling to Super Secret Detective, where Gary always finds a new way to make a little money. Will his house suspenders ever take off? Read Florida Man and find out. I don't know about you, but this picture here makes me want to check it out. <laughs> it's like, what the heck, man? So we're bringing back funny books, and I think we need that. Now let's take a little bit about Mike Barron here, okay? He's a renowned author of numerous novels and several comic books for both Marvel and DC, The Flash, 
Punisher, and Star Wars. But it, he is perhaps best known for Nexus, his groundbreaking science fiction indie comic co-created with illustrator Steve Rude. Baron has won, and here's the thing too, by the way, these these, these tens of, these ideal, ideologues like Gail Simone even made a tweet about like how she's a better writer or she's been better you know from than anybody in comic skater supposedly associated with comic skate but yet anytime you criticize their writing they love to throw out Eisner awards so let's take a moment here Baron has won two Eisner awards hmm, and an ink pot for his work on Nexus which has been published in five languages include French Italian Portuguese and Spanish so in your face I mean, these arguments they have seldom hold any water. Baron's other creations include the Badger, and it gives some other ones here. So you can look up some of their other work to see what you might think. And then we have some information, too, about the illustrator of the book, Todd. He's a freelance comic book creator, no strange crowdfunding projects. His latest effort was part of Graveyard Shift, Volume 2, and Supplemental Comic, as well as own creation, Ignition, which maybe this being part of Graveyard Shift, Volume 2, you know, ties him into heavily to Comics Gate, which means Gail Simone has to hate him, and automatically everybody has to have a, a preformed opinion about everybody in it. Once again, I'm not judging people saying they're good or they're bad in this video. That is up to you personally. I don't believe in judging people as a group in the first place. I believe in the individual actions of a group. For example, you can have a peaceful protest, but if somebody starts beating on people with no reason and creating violence, they're a bad person in that peaceful protest. Not the whole protest is necessarily bad. Not saying that every protest is filled with good people. That's, once again, something different. But nonetheless, even the little pokes at self-humor in this book. This art just doesn't cut the mustard. I mean, how hilarious can that be? Overall, I think this is something worth checking out. Um... So once again, you make up your own mind on that, but I would check it out and say, once again, you know, screw you to people like Reddit and things like that. You know, check those things for yourself because they're going to try to hide it and everything else because they got to kiss the shields ring and try to make them happy. And I think we should be checking out things on our own and choosing to support those with our dollars. And since that's one of the reasons I chose to do this video is because I know they had that one method of advertising shut off, at least to them. I'm sure others are to follow. And I don't like that. So let's get that. If you like this, you want to support it, you probably should get the message out and help them out. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you plan on at least checking it out, I'd like to hear about it. Until next time, keep it frugal. Thanks for watching this video, but before we get into it, I want to let you know this video is sponsored by my wallet. Yes, my wallet. Letting you know that don't you don't have to worry about my videos being sponsored by special giveaways, so like pre-codes for video games, or YouTube advertisement and have to worry about it being friendly because I don't advertise using YouTube because I don't like how their practices are. So my channel is completely funded by my wallet, which means anything that you give, I'm greatly appreciative. For that helps this channel continue. So I want to take a moment to thank everybody on Patreon and Subscribestar. A penny for your dimes, Comic Boom, David Oswitz, and yes, I know I butcher names up, okay? Pop Size, Rags, Warren JB, and Lich Nut. I greatly appreciate your support. And if you want to be on here too as a producer and have me list your name, just let me just give a simple donation. You can donate to my Patreon or subscribe star for as little as a dollar a month. Or, you know, other ways that you can help out is just advertise the channel. Tweet it out there, put it on your social media, your Facebook, share the videos, like, subscribe when you see them, and definitely leave a comment because that's what this channel a lot of it is about. It's a nice conversation. We want to hear your thoughts as well as mine. And let's get this geek and nerd culture, and I say that in a nice way together, and let's have some fun. So once again, thank you very, very much, and I hope you enjoy the video.